we put them very hands on straight away. Um, we have them out in the hangar. They ha we have them shadowing a, an experienced licensed engineer, um, and we get them straight straight in there, hands dirty, and, and away you go. Pardon the pun, but sky's the limit. Um, aviation is a, a fantastic industry, and it can take you many, many different avenues. I'm uh, a Griffith, and I'm the director and founder of JMI. Tell us a little bit about what JMI is. Yeah, we're a part 145 maintenance organization that I set up uh, about four years ago now. Um, and we maintain um, business jets. Citation and, and Dasso Falcon uh, business jets for base and line maintenance support. So, for anyone who doesn't know, what is Part 145? Yeah, Part 145 is a maintenance standard which uh, is recognized under the authorities. Um, and basically, we're a 145 is a maintenance company, um, similar to 147 is a training company, and 145 is a, is a maintenance company for, for aircraft maintenance. And what got you into aircraft maintenance, Ed? I was lucky. Uh, I always wanted to be an, an aircraft engineer since being a little boy. I never wanted to do anything else. And uh, at the age of 16, I, uh, I joined the Air Force, learnt my trade, um, left the Air Force a while ago now and, and carried on in the civilian life and ended up on business jets. And what kind of things would you say... Uh, you get to do as uh, an aircraft maintenance engineer or technician? Where do you go? Where do you stop? Um, you can do anything from you know, day to day, just line checks um, on, on a commercial or business jet or all the way to traveling the world, repairing aircraft, what we call AOGs, aircraft on ground. So if they they fly away somewhere and break, you, you go out with, with tools and parts and, and fix them. It, you can it can take you many many directions aircraft maintenance uh, i've been lucky to experience quite a, quite a lot of it i can imagine it must be incredibly satisfying to actually fix a plane you know it, it's a it is big it is project. A, yeah it is it, it's very satisfying and, and sometimes you know you can be a little bit under pressure you know you've got a, a, a an aircraft full of people wanting to go on holiday or you've got a, a specific owner wanting to take his aeroplane and and it goes it goes tech so um getting that fix and diagnosing the problem fixing the problem and getting the aircraft away is is very satisfying and it's one of the main main perks of the job i i think for someone who's watching this who might never have even known about the job of an aircraft engineer mm -hmm. what kind of qualifications would you suggest would be valuable you really five gcses they call it in my day it was c and above i don't know <laughs> what they call it now <laughs> um in but the, you have to have some aptitude maths um, and english is the main um, qualification they look for physics helps a lot um but for me it's being interested in what you do is one of the big things um you've got to you've got to enjoy the work you do you've got to be having keen interest in in fixing things maintaining things aircraft helps um so but, you know five gscs you can get you in there and then onto apprenticeships and if someone was to start with you as an apprentice, what kind of things could they expect to be doing in the first year of working with you as they're learning? We put them very hands on straight away. Um, we have them out in the hangar. They ha we have them shadowing a, an experienced licensed engineer. Um, and we get them straight, straight in there, hands dirty and, and away you go. Um, changing wheels, changing brakes. Um, flight controls all different things obviously they're fully monitored and and with a like i said earlier an exper experienced engineer um but no straight straight off the bat you're you're in there and you're working on on these airframes and what do you think about the potential for a career if someone starts 
you know, if they said, right, okay, I'll give that a go. I might want to give that a go. Where could that take them? Pardon the pun, but sky's the limit. Um, Aviation is a a fantastic industry and it can take you many, many different avenues. Um, You can stay as an engineer, be a senior engineer um, in these companies, but there's certainly a chain as well up. Um, Senior engineer, shift leads, maintenance management, director if you want to be that way so there's a there's a long way to go and there's a big ladder to climb in aviation and and like i said earlier many avenues you can go down you know commercial aviation is different to business aviation we're now seeing more things uh, more more strands to the industry you know we're now seeing um hydrogen in 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 aircraft and electric and so there's many many avenues you can go down and, and many options and i think this industry is it's going into an exciting stage um with a lot of change and um all the avenues are open and i think you just touched upon a really important point i know for um some young people um one of the concerns is about the sustainability and um, being friendly to the mm-hmm. skies um what kind of technology are you seeing coming online that will be cleaner technology where, you know, the more bright young minds we can get into the industry to help us create it, the better? Yeah, we've seen a lot, um, especially uh, companies now using hydrogen, hydroelectric engines. They were the first flight a few weeks ago of an aircraft in the UK, full flight using hydrogen. So um, a lot cleaner, far cleaner uh, way of way of flying um we're seeing the electric uavs and things as well go um so it, it, it's changing the industry is changing rapidly because it has to because of um you know the, the greenhouse gases and and pollution and um it's changing at a rapid rate and rapid rate needs people and so people can get involved in that side of it. And of course, what you do is um, keeping aircraft flying and keeping them in great nick for as long as possible yeah. is also contributing to being a more environmentally friendly industry. Yeah, absolutely. You know, maintenance, keeping the aircraft serviceable and maintained to a high standard increases that efficiency. and. Uh, and yeah, the, the like you say, he keeps it. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Ignore that bit. <laughs> and let's let's just circle back to a little bit about you. You said that you knew that you wanted to be an aircraft engineer from being a little boy. Uh, what did that look like? How? What made you really dream of being doing what you're doing? I yeah uh, I liked I just liked the idea of fixing airplanes. They fascinated me how they flew. I never wanted to fly them. Funny old thing. I never wanted to be a pilot. Um, it was the systems and how they worked. And um, you know, I used to watch them as a little boy and think, well, how does that how does that do that? You know. Um, and it's just something that I I always wanted to to know about. I was interested in it and I wanted to know how it worked. Um, and I still learn now to this day. I certainly don't know it. Um, <laughs> uh, and I learn every day on these aircraft that I've been fixed in quite a long time. But there's still things I learn every day. And I'm always intrigued on how they how they work. And, and that just keeps me interested. And I'm still interested uh, 30 years on. And, and, and got to be less than that. 20 <laughs> years on. It's always a shocker, isn't it? When you look back and think, oh, God, how long have I been in the industry? 25. We'll go 25. <laughs> Of course, we all are. (laughs) Um, So did you have aviation in your background? Was was your family an aviation family? No, no, no one in my my family. My mum was a vet, and so I got brought (laughs) up with animals. Um, And... um, no, no, I, I, no one in my yeah, my family was aviation. I was the first to go into it, really. Uh, my brother was in the Air Force, but he wasn't in aviation. He was in communication. So he had nothing to do with the aircraft side of it. Um, so I, I was one of the first or the first to go in from the family straight into, into aviation and, and aircraft. 
so Ed, if someone um, isn't fortunate enough to be able to join the RAF for whatever reason, um, what other routes are there into aircraft engineering or or maintenance? Yeah, there's a lot of colleges out there in the in the UK across the UK, um, Norwich, Biggin Hill, Stansted. Um, we actually use a company at Kemble called uh, the Resource Group, who we have put now three or four apprentices through. And it's an apprenticeship. It's an old style apprenticeship program. Um, two year, I think it's a two year course um, to come out with with a, a basic apprenticeship in, in aircraft engineering, which is you can then extend another two years to become qual fully qualified. Um, but people are really looking for engineers at the moment. There's a lot of courses running. There's a lot of opportunity. And um, that's the way to go. That sounds brilliant. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with anyone who's considering um, this as a career? Yeah, um, look, obviously, I think it's a great career. Um, I've done it for a long time and I'm still here. Um, but, uh, you know, it is a variety. It's not one day is the same in aviation uh, and definitely maintenance as well. Every day is a different day, especially in our facility here in Oxford. When we come in the morning, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know where we're going to be. My guys, my guys come to work with a with an overnight bag because if we get a phone call to go, we go. Um, and that's Europe, sometimes worldwide. So um, it's certainly an exciting job. Uh, it's a different, different job. And uh, it can be very, very satisfying. Thank you very much, Ed. You're welcome.